what is going on? I hope you're doing so, so good. Tonight, I am spending my time in front of this beautiful, beautiful ocean and just taking in the beauty and the bounty that this is tonight on this Sunday night. So um, tonight, I wanted to talk about time and wasting or not wasting your time. And hello, if you're there, go ahead and uh, drop in the comments where you're calling in from, where you're watching from, and uh, and you know hit, hit up the heart, hit up the like, just so I know that you're there, that you can hear me right now. Uh, my connection's a little fuzzy, so I'm just making sure you can hear me here. But um, I'm really excited to talk tonight about something that's been coming up for me and for my clients a lot lately, and especially you know if you're a people pleasing entrepreneur. Um, or just an overgiving one that's just really given a lot to your clients. Um, you know that time is a really funny thing, and if you feel like you've been kind of stepped on, or you feel like like um, like people are kind of taking advantage of your time, uh, I wanna I wanna bring this message directly to you. So, man, that ocean is just so gorgeous. So here's the thing, guys. I want you to consider how much you value your time, and really looking at time. And, and on this Sunday afternoon, I want you to consider for yourself, uh, what's up Amber? Good to see you girl. I want you to consider for yourself, what's up Mary Jane? I want you to consider for yourself with your time is that it is an external representation of your energy. Time as an external representation of your energy. So I have stores of energy inside of me, right? And I love those hearts, Mary Jane. I have these stores of energy inside of me, right? And, and they, they come up from inside me and I can use them with, uh, in the form of money. Uh, I can give that energy away in the form of money. I can give that, that energy away in the form of my time. I can give it away in the form of my attention. Like you're doing right now, you're, you're paying attention. Uh, and you also can give it away in your physical in the physical way that it manifests in that you can exert physical energy into something, right? And so what I want us to consider is if you're somebody who feels like you've been chronically giving away your time or giving away your energy to others uh, and feeling like you've been over giving, here's what I want to give to you tonight is I want to actually give you a mantra, a mantra, if, you, uh, if you're into the Sanskrit pronunciation mantra. Um, I want to give you a mantra tonight or or just like a little affirmation for yourself is I bless people with my time. Oh, isn't that so good? I bless people with my time. What's up, Timothy? Hey, brother. Good to see you, man. I bless people with my time. What's up, Tim Adams? Good to see. Holy crap. Good to see you, brother. I bless people with my time. I want you to think about that, guys, is, is how much are you valuing your time? How much are you valuing your time? And, and again, as I was just saying, if you're just jumping on, I was just saying that we have internal energy that we export out to the world or we exert in the form of money, in the form of attention, in the form of physical exertion, in the form of, uh, uh, what was the other one that I just said, our attention. Um, so, but time, really, how, how much are you using your time and freely giving it away to others? So I want you to really consider is the amount of time that I use to put back into myself. So to, to literally to, to floss, to brush my teeth, to take care of my facial hair, like to, to work out, to shower, like to do these like seemingly basic things, um, to drink incredibly you know Mary Jane's watching right now she's drink she's on a cleanse right now and she's like putting the best liquids into her body and she's like just loving up on that and she's she's spending her time her energy and her money in the direction of really giving herself that so I know a lot of people talk about self-love I know that's like a cool like thing to talk about but what I want to consider is like how are you squandering your time as a physical representation or an external representation what's up Melissa what's up Rachel of your of your of your energy right so that's that's my biggest takeaway today is is considering not just saying oh I have so much time and I, and I can just give it away to everybody right but really considering like when anyone sits down and spends time with you, especially if you're uh, a, like like we're talking about here as a people pleasing entrepreneur, knowing that 
when you're giving your time to others, really giving yourself the worthiness, really like bestowing that upon yourself that nobody will actually pay, uh, put as much value in your time as you do, right? And so when you value your time, others will value your time. Meaning, when you realize that your value, the, the value of just simply being in your presence and people receiving the value of being around you and being in your atmosphere, when you start to realize that that's worth $200 an hour, $5,000 an hour, $10,000 an hour, whatever it ends up being, or $10 an hour, whenever you decide that and begin to slowly like put that into your nervous system, it's like, yeah, that's the value. People are blessed. I bless people with my time. Then other people around you will start to understand that they are blessed when they get to spend time with you. And this is not some like cocky, horrible thing, but just to see that your time is valuable if you choose it to be. Your time is valuable if you choose it to be. And so I don't want to say that anyone's time is more valuable than another human's time, but I want you to say that for you, your time is incredibly valuable. And so with that being said, hopefully I'm not getting too windy here. With that being said, guys, look how freaking awesome the ocean is. I love that. This is how I'm valuing my time right now is that I get to look out at that gorgeous, gorgeous ocean. What is up, Keith? I love it. So blessed, my man. Good word. I love that. Um, so, so what I want to say is for those of you that are not familiar with the Supreme Performance Academy, or those of you that are familiar, is that February 1st, we get rocking and rolling. And uh, whether you're in it or you're not, I'm still so excited that I have a couple more spots left. And um, shoot me a message. Like, I'm just super excited. I know that you've been following along all this time, and I know that you're going to continue to follow along. But um, that's that's it. That's it. There's no, like, pitch tonight. I just want to say, like, that's the offer. That's the opportunity. And look at this gorgeous ocean. And I want you to consider how do you want to bless people with your time this week. So going into the second, I guess it's the second or third week in January. What week are we in? I guess it's the second week, right? Uh, how are you going to bless people with your time or bless yourself with your time this week? So with that, so much love to you tonight. And please share this. Please like this um, with people who you know and love that you feel like could be blessed more with their time and could be blessed more with your time. Sending you lots of love, guys, from here in Encinitas, California. Talk to you really soon. Bye-bye.